Good morning, butterflies. I haven't seen you guys in a while, and I'm excited because this is the first year I'm ever going to try Vlogmas, and we will see how it goes because that thought, the thought of uploading a video every single day kind of scares the crap out of me. So I'm just going to try, and we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, I got bangs, guys. Oh my gosh. Um, I wanted to do something different with my hair, and... I didn't want to damage it because you guys have seen I had my hair really short and it was different colors and yeah so I want my hair to grow and it has grown a lot since I guess you guys have seen my last videos and I decided to cut my bangs and give it some color and I really am loving it when I do my makeup I just actually woke up so this is literally I woke up like this <laughs> um, when I do my makeup it looks so cute yesterday I had a pop-up holiday shop so I sold some of the earrings and things that I make and I get a lot of positive feedback um, I want to say it was a success not necessarily because I made a lot of money but because I got a lot of connections I met some wonderful people somebody even asked me to do wholesale for them so I feel like those types of events are not generally the money makers but they are good for networking and things like that so my apartment looks a hot mess and I'm loving the Sun right now thank you thank you father son for warming me up <laughs> and yeah my apartment is it's so bad last night my sister and I we felt like college students or something <laughs> when I got home she was already here and she um, she ordered some pizza and then after we ate the pizza we watched some like Christmas sappy movies on Netflix and that was pretty fun and then after that we got in the mood to eat ramen so we ordered some and that was our night <laughs> living our best life <laughs> okay so I want to show you guys the explosion whenever I have a pop-up shop I'm trying to figure out I don't even know but I hope you guys are seeing me fine um whenever I have a pop-up shop my apartment becomes a mess because I try like I put everything out you know it's a bunch of stuff that I have to haul and so those types of things really take a lot of work and right now I woke up to yeah an explosion of stuff so I want to show you guys hold on Okay, and don't judge me. There's my bra. <laughs> um, we were just so comfy. I was on that sofa and she was on this one. And so look, like you could see her like take out the pizza box. So then I have like these racks that I got from IKEA for the clothes. Cause now I um now I'm curating vintage and one of a kind pieces uh, for the sh for the little shops that I do. And so here's all the stuff that I hauled yesterday. And then this is like my little studio or whatever. And look at it. It looks a hot mess. Like I don't even, yeah, I'm feeling very anxious all of a sudden just looking at this. And so today will consist of pretty much cleaning up this whole mess and trying to um, bring some order back into my life. Look at this sign that I made for the pitch competition that I was in July. And I really much love it. If I ever <laughs> finally get the storefront, I will actually use this sign. Um, I found this piece of plywood on the side of the road. Um, there's this guy that is a woodworker by where I live and he throws away a bunch of plywood all the time. So I pick it up and I'm not kidding when I say I pick it up. Whenever I find some good, good pieces, I'll pick them up and I'll use them. So I... I will show you here I definitely stop for really good stuff on the road I'm one of those people I love to <laughs> dumpster dive no shame in it I feel like instead of it going to a landfill why don't I give it a second life I mean we're such a wasteful type of country like we we throw away really good things and while I lived in Nicaragua um, 
I saw how people didn't weren't so wasteful because obviously they didn't have the resources to, to to be wasteful. So if their iron broke, they didn't go out and buy another one. They figured out how to fix it. Or if their shoes were 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 had a little hole or were damaged in some shape or form, they would figure out how to fix it. So I learned from that and I'm very grateful for that experience because it has taught me that you don't need to be so wasteful. That's why I love thrifting. I have gotten back into the joy of thrifting. Um, especially since I love one of a kind. I love to dress very eccentrically, if that's a word. Very eclectic. Um, and I don't seem to find that when I go shopping in the big stores. So now that I've been thrifting, I've been having so much fun. I've been able to... Not quite sure where this left off, but basically I was letting you guys know for some reason my video cut off but um, I'll show you really quickly so this is one of the little displays that I made for my earrings using the plywood the pieces of plywood and I just left it very raw and then I got these clothespins from Target I think over the summer and so these are the earrings I've been making um, and people love them they do I'm so happy about that so the display was made with just those pieces of plywood that I found on the side of the road like how cute and then I have like another one here you could kind of see I don't want to take it out because everything is kind of like a jumbled mess but I will try to show you in a future video and then I also have put up my tree I actually put this up quite early this year um, we did Thanksgiving over here so I wanted to have this you know as the focal point and it really brought like that holiday spirit if you guys have seen my videos around the holidays in the past you know that I get very sad and I get the blues and so this year my sister and I decided that we're gonna change the narrative and we're gonna try to find the joy of the holidays and again I'm not doing presents this year I was really happy with the outcome last year like I said my kids still got presents I saw some people left some obnoxious comments about how I'm such an awful parent and that Christmas is about gifts and I was like wait what like what the heck but whatever it's my prerogative at the end of the day and I honestly it was one of the best things I've ever done I stay away from the malls around this time of the year and it's so liberating guys like I don't feel that stress or anxiety like I and don't get me wrong like I love to shop so I've been thrifting a lot um, especially Wednesdays because that's the half day here in the Salvation Army close to my home so that day I mean with 20 bucks you can get a substantial amount of things and clothes or whatever pieces um, and I like to start shopping around February or like January when they start putting out all of the um, Valentine's Day stuff because that's my aesthetics and then around spring of course with all the florals and beautiful colors that's when I love to shop but look at my tree all of my uh, decor is from um, Hobby Lobby and all of those huge pieces that I found like I wanted to do like that sort of candy land I know that light is very bright right now I wanted to do that sort of like candy land um, I got very inspired by Candy Johnson one year she did um, she does like Candyland theme in her whole home so I really like that and of course I'm not into traditional colors and so I was really happy when I found all of these pieces so I ended up finding most of these like lollipops and things like that over the summer um, I don't know they were randomly just hanging around when it happened to come into the store so I purchased them they were like 90% off or something crazy like that so I definitely won't buy them at regular price ever and then we made for Thanksgiving we made like our own little ornaments like that one I think was my sisters and then my nephew my son um yeah so that was pretty fun we've never done that and the kids thoroughly enjoyed it and then I I want to introduce to you our new member of the family 
my son Nova named him Doggy. <laughs> and he lights up. He was in a grab bag last year and I honestly did not like him. Like he looks nothing like the box, which is hilarious because I'm like, no wonder they didn't want him because it looked like someone had returned him. And so um, now that I put him together, I'm like, you know what? I kind of like you. So it's pretty funny. Um, we don't have any pets or anything. So this is as close as it's going to get. And my four-year-old son, Nova, named him Doggy, <laughs> which is funny. I was like, what should his name be? He goes, Doggy. So this is Doggy, everyone. So they had a doggy and he's like taking care of the tree, it seems like. So yeah, today's going to consist of cleaning up this mess mostly. And then later on, a friend of mine um, asked me to help her <clears throat> in an event to, um, let me switch the camera back around. So yeah, a friend of mine asked me to help her uh, set up for her, an event she's having. She's having an ugly sweater party and I'm excited because I, in one of my thrift hauls, I actually hauled a really cute ugly sweater vest if, that, if you could ever imagine an ugly sweater being cute I mean they're pretty cute right now and <clears throat> I think I only paid like two bucks or three bucks for it it's so cute I really really like it so I already know like kind of like what I'm gonna wear it with and so I'm gonna go help her I figure in this entrepreneurial world like whenever you can help someone I feel like it'll it will come back to you so, you know, I know how lonely this road can be and how hard it can be to try and start your own business. And I'm always there trying to support other small local businesses because I feel like that's the only way we can thrive as a community. So, um, I'm going to go help her. I think I may try to vlog a little bit, but it may be too crazy. <laughs> um, but I'll try and insert some footage about that. And... Yeah, we'll see how this vlogmas, vlogmas will go. Let me know if you're excited for it. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Hi, Butterfly. So I'm finally ready for my party tonight. I am going to an ugly sweater Christmas party. I have never been to one. And I got this vest from the Salvation Army. And I think I got it for like three bucks or two bucks, something like that. And I'm so excited. I was just listening to Above and Beyond Group Therapy. Their music gets me so pumped. Now I feel like fist pumping and it gets me really excited. I made this headband, I made the earrings and I love the holidays specifically for the colorfulness and you know, all the festive vibes that are going on. I wish it was like that year round. But anyways, I will try to get some footage if I can at the party and thank you so much for coming along with me. Stay tuned.